G'day everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here and this week we're talking about autism and ADHD. Now attention deficit hyperactivity uh, disorder or ADHD uh, typically occurs in about 30 to 40 percent of autistic children and adults. Now we do know a lot about that co-occurrence but what we don't know about is how ADHD can play out across the lifespan of autistic individuals. A study we've linked to this week is a study, a really large study of over 700 adults on the autism spectrum. Now what they actually found is that when adults have a co-occurring uh, ADHD, it actually uh, creates a significant impact on quality of life above and beyond um, simply having a diagnosis of autism, such that actually there, there's a significant impact on the quality of life, uh, the participation in daily activities and independence. Now you might see this as a little bit uh, depressing that actually that a co-occurring condition can actually increase impacts on quality of life, but I actually see it as quite liberating because now we know about this additional impact that ADHD can have on autistic adult size so we can start addressing it. It's a really important finding.